you may have face-to-face -face presentations down pat. Webinars may work well now for you with so many good models weekly. But what about those times that you have to present your ideas for 5, 15, 50 minutes on a teleconference? Presenters can sound flat, frightened, or even forced. If you've done it, you know it can sometimes feel as though you're talking to the wall. Consider these tips to increase your impact. First, I suggest standing up. Standing, you'll automatically adjust your presentation style. Better posture, deeper breathing, better vocal variety, and control, increased energy. All of these things result in a more confident, a more credible delivery. Another tip, speak to a photo across the room. Most people communicate better when they sense others are listening. In lieu of having a real person sitting next to you, Pull out someone's LinkedIn or Facebook photo, pull it up on your computer or on your cell phone maybe, and direct your comments to that person. Or actually take a photo and set it up across the room from you while you talk. Visualizing a real person helps keep your comments conversational. A third tip, pause periodically for input. Rather than talking non-stop for 15 or 30 minutes, break your comments into small chunks, maybe no more than six or seven minutes. Even if you're supposed to be in presentation style, presentation mode, stop to interact with your listeners to make sure they're still engaged. Ask them for feedback on what you've just said so far. Ask them to add ideas or insights. Ask them for their concerns about what, quote, others might react or how they might react to implementing your ideas. Ask what challenges they anticipate on what you're suggesting. Have them to summarize the takeaways that they've picked up on so far on what you've just shared. A fourth tip, give a thought-provoking assignment before you open up the phone lines for inter interaction. You might say something like, let me stop here to give some reaction, to get some reaction and see what questions you have. That's for those listener, listeners who tend to take a mental recess, a time out to check their inbox and respond to text messages while you're taking questions from other people. Instead of list, letting those listeners just go on mental vacation, intrigue them with a personal challenge. You want them to consider something during that downtime for questions. A fifth tip, avoid sounding scripted. Teleconferences tempt you to just use notes because no one can see them. Notes are fine. Scripts, never. Speak conversationally. Now that's not to say that you should ramble, repeat, rush through long sentences and run on scripts, run on paragraphs, run on thoughts. But speak naturally with just simple words and short sentences. Consider it a conversation. Another tip. Ask yourself questions when there are none. Prime the pump and give listeners time to think. Say something like, as your questions come to mind, let me mention one question that several team members have already asked about this project. Is it going to blah, 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 pose the question and then answer it? Or you can have your moderator pose questions that you've suggested ahead of time. Or say something like, I've had questions come in by email and then ask one of those questions and answers. People just sometimes need time to think. Another tip, treat the logistics of your teleconference, just like any other live presentation in front of people face to face. Call in early to make sure the technology is working properly. I recently called in to do a teleconference hosted by three different moderators, and as the technician did the mic checks before the scheduled call began, we had terrible static on the line. All four of us had to call in individually after the, the initial call-in for the technician to check each line separately 
to see which line was creating the problem. As it turned out, all the, call, all the call lines but one was creating havoc. It took 20 minutes for the technical people to correct the issue. In addition to technology concerns, we need to handle, or you may need to handle, all kinds of issues, like getting the exact pronunciation of moderators' names. Do you need a backup number in case of emergency? Do you have water nearby? How about plans to control unexpected background noise at your site? Reference documents within easy reach, so should somebody ask for a certain report numbers or data. Unlike few things in life, teleconferences can be as easy as they look, unless you forget the basics. Do you have more tips to add? Jot them in the comments box below.